One thing I like to do with uh, this exercise is to concentrate on the squeeze because uh, that's what's most important, you know? The contraction, as long as you, I mean, you want to get a good contraction more so than just moving the weight. And that's how I've been able to develop my chesticles more from really- The <laughs> Yeah, right. Really concentrating on, um, focusing on just the squeeze. And I'm, right now, this is my warm up. And uh, starting with this exercise really kind of warms up my chest and gets me ready for like the incline press. Baby, I like your little chest hair. <laughs> right, the little bit I have. Shout out to the chest hair. You said it. <laughs> but, no, this is nice though. I like doing this as a warm up or I like doing dumbbell like pullovers. Those kind of really help. Um, you got bushy armpit hair. I got to do my armpit hair, what? Bushy. Bushy? Bushy. Hey, <laughs> 80s porno. <laughs> That's like 70s or 60s, ain't it? I don't know. Uh -huh. We'll go, we'll, we'll go back and look at it later. <laughs> we'll, we go, we'll go through the porn of the like decades. 80s porn. <laughs> see the mustaches. Ugh. Where? No, I'm kidding. It's a joke. Ew. All right, I'm about to get into this That's next That's gross. Set. Dorsimus. <laughs> I see that lower chest developing. It's funny, you know, people think that they gotta stack this thing with a whole bunch of weight, but you don't have to do that. You can go ahead and work with a good moderate weight and progressively work your way up with a uh, heavier weight and try to focus on just squeezing the muscle. And that's where you, I feel like you'll get the most out of it. Oh, I bet you saw somebody. No, some girl had a cute outfit. Oh, so the camera probably went like <laughs> away from me <laughs> as I mean, get on her outfit. Yeah, she, right, I think she got a high state shirt exercise. on or something. We can go ahead and turn it off. Show them the next exercise. Baby. You gross. You got issues. Good job. Come on, baby. Down to the flies. Like a tool, yeah. <laughs> hey, you work hard for it, you know. But you go and buy it, you Lamb don't. You just woke up this morning looking like that. We buy a Lamborghini and then keep it in the garage, yeah. So nobody scratches it. <laughs> Dude, you work on Man, I got a Kia Optima. People act like I got a Lambo, like hey. they're trying to scratch it up and stuff. <laughs> Man, I said, Don't be jealous of my Kia Optima. It's white too, it's clean, man. This is what he does in his sleep. Chef, look at that angle, bruh. Superman right there. <laughs> Are you gonna like that one? Oh yeah. I got a question for you. I, I gotta get 50 pounds because it's good. It's too light. Okay. Oh, but you gotta put your questions. Hey. So, question. What moment exactly started you? Uh, Feeling a motivation and a desire to change your body. And the, uh, the first time is when I was 14 years old. I mean, I was 13. And I was at my grandma's house. I was walking upstairs with some food in my hand, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I 
and As she has you a do mirror. Your grandma's. Yeah, she has a mirror, and I was walking to the bedroom to go watch TV and eat. And uh, it was a mirror, so when you walk by, you see yourself, of course. And I was just looking like, lift up my shirt, lift up my stomach. I was like, damn, man, I was like, you fat. I was like, you really fat. And that was just like this, that was the first moment where it was like, you need to change. But I've had a lot of moments where I'm like, oh, I need to change. Um, I'm gonna put some more weight on here. But what moment exactly was that like... Was the, that was the moment exactly. That's but I mean, first. like in the last two years, obviously you've lost close to 100 pounds. So what moment two years ago was like, I need to lose when, some uh, weight. When Cecilio took that picture of me, when we went to that park, the one I always post with my hands on my hip with that uh, black beater on. Rising Park and Lancaster? Yeah, yeah, Rising Park and Lancaster. They and use a chub a dub. Man, that's because I, like, I thought I was losing weight then, and I saw that picture, and I was like, man. And it's one of the ones where they catch you off guard, so it's like the real you. You know, when I post pictures, that ain't me. I crop other people's body on there. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. But, no, I mean, that was the time where I was like, get out of here. That was the time where I was like, yeah. I need to change. That was another time where it was just like, and then throughout the time from there to now, it's just been continuously just trying to get better. And you know, I've fallen a lot of times, but get back up. And a lot of people say, you know, like, you shouldn't feel down about yourself for being heavy and stuff like that, but it's those moments where you feel down that make you want to change and make you want to be better. And that's with anything in life, not just being heavy, but, oh, yeah. you know, yeah. that's with, um, I mean anything, finances, relationships, you know, um, feeling upset about your current situation, feeling down about yourself is part of what makes you realize that you need to change and get better. And some people do change and some people decide that, you know, they just want to live in the misery. Yeah. Guys, That's I all. show this quite a few times. This is the Be Kind Hammer Strength. Um, use this to focus a lot on my lower chest. Um, there's other ways you can definitely hit your lower chest, but this is one of my favorites. It's what I've been using uh, for a while now, uh, but I do like to superset it with uh, push-ups just to give it a little, pump a little bit of extra blood into the muscle. Uh, it really makes a huge difference. You might not think like, oh, 12 push-ups, you know, it's easy, but when you do this and then you drop down and do this for four to five sets, it really tears up your chest and pumps a lot of blood into the muscle. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this, and I'm gonna do that. Stick that stupid tongue back in your mouth. Ew, stop. I'm just kidding. Hi. Come on, hurry up. You're losing your games. I'm his manager. <laughs> Shut up. Drop down and give me 12. 12. <laughs> what kind of army person says that? You're like, really? That's it? <laughs> Too strong. Uh. That was my third set. Ooh, back up. He ugly. Huh. Was that, I hope that was my, yeah, that was my third set. I'm gonna do two more. Man, come on. I don't even think you could do this. Get them angles, girl. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. You gotta wear them dress pants. You look good in them dress pants. Mm. You look good in these pants too, look at them. Hey, hey easy now. I can't say that. You can pause it. I'm just miring. Ah. 3D. Ah. <laughs> I 
last three day. That chest three day. Come on, show off. I'm about to ring the lunk alarm. <laughs> Yeah, son. That's the money shot. Come on, baby. That looks too easy to you. You might need to make the weight heavier. Come on. Don't be playing me. Great job. The first six sets. Six sets. Six reps are easier. Come on, hit different poses. Oh. Front double bicep. Uh. Gentlemen, front double bicep. <laughs> good. Looking good, man. Let me see the back, too. Okay. Look, don't judge me. I'm new at posing, so, especially with the back. Okay, now let me get a lat spread with your hands on your hips. Nice, but I think you need to work on that yeah, one. Yeah, I do. It's all right. I know. It's all right. We're going to get it together. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right, we out. That's it, raw video, shoulders, and I did chest earlier too. Look at that chest. Chipotle time. Oh. Burrito. Look at that chest hair. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right.